Prime Minister Anthony Albanese will not delay a vote on an Indigenous voice to Parliament despite support for the proposal falling in opinion polls. The Prime Minister will use a speech at the Gama Festival in North East Arnhem Land today to press the case for constitutional change at a referendum to be held later this year. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are warned that the following story may contain images and voices of deceased persons. A traditional Yongwu welcome on the ancient ceremonial grounds of the Gumach clan. The Prime Minister has returned to the Gama Festival in North East Arnhem Land as he continues his push for an Indigenous voice to Parliament. He's among about 2,500 people at this year's festival. It's a celebration of art and culture. But this year also has a sharp political focus as Australia heads towards a referendum. We are the only former colony of Europe that does not recognise that there were inhabitants here before 1788 in our case. We waited for year after year after year for that apology. And when it occurred, it brought the country together. It lifted the country up and no one was hurt by that apology. No one will be hurt by a yes vote in this referendum. The Prime Minister will deliver the keynote address on Saturday, insisting he won't delay the referendum despite sliding support in the opinion polls. But he won't be announcing the date this weekend. There hasn't been a referendum held this century, which is why I don't think people want a date announced many months in advance. It was here last year Anthony Albanese made a promise to Gumach clan leader Yuna Pingu that he would put to the Australian people a referendum on constitutional recognition. Four months after Yuna Pingu's death, the Prime Minister says he has no intention of breaking that promise. I remember after my speech here, Yuna Pingu saying to me, are you serious? I remember that. <laughs> because he had been let down for so long. Well, I'm here to say to you that my word matters. And we will put it to the Australian people and we will succeed together in ensuring a yes vote in the referendum. This is the 23rd Gama Festival, but the first without Unipingu. The former Australian of the Year was remembered as a champion of the land rights movement. The Prime Minister says leaders like Unipingu have waited too long to be recognised in our nation's founding document. If not now, when? Matt Cunningham, Sky News, North East Arnhem Land.